All you have to do today is watch and listen. And when I talk about a strategy packet, you hand them one of those. Sounds great. So although I wish I were here with better news, the fact is that you and I are sitting here today because uh, this will be your last week of employment at this company. Why me? What am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to feel better that I'm not the only one losing my job? This is ridiculous. I have been a fine employee for over 10 years, and this is the way you treat me. How you sleep at night, man? Huh? How's your family? They sleeping well at night? Electricity still on? Heat still on? Refrigerator full of food? Gas tank full of gas? Going Chuck E. Cheese this weekend or something? Not me. No, my kids, we're not going to do anything. What do you suggest I tell them? Perhaps you're underestimating the positive effect that your career transition can have on your children. The positive effect? I make about 90 grand a year now. Unemployment is what, 250 bucks a week? Is that one of your positive effects? Well, we'll get to be cozier because I'm not going to be able to pay my mortgage on my house, so maybe we can move into a nice fucking one-bedroom apartment somewhere. And I guess without benefits, I'll be able to hold my daughter as she, you know, suffers from her asthma that I won't be able to afford the medication for. Well, <clears throat> tests have shown that children under moderate trauma have a tendency to apply themselves academically as a method of coping. Go fuck yourself. That's what my kids will think. Your children's admiration is important to you? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, I doubt they ever admired you, Bob. Hey, asshole, aren't you supposed to be consoling me? I'm not a shrink, Bob. I'm a wake-up call. You know why kids love athletes? I don't know, because they screw lingerie models. No, that's why we love athletes. Kids love athletes because they follow their dreams. Well, I can't dunk. No, but you can cook. What are you talking about? Your resume says that you minored in French culinary arts. And most students there were going to fry her at KFC, but you bust tables at Il Picador to support yourself. And then you get out of college, and you come and you work here. How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? 27 grand a year. And when were you going to stop and come back and do what makes you happy? Good question. I see guys who work at the same company for their entire lives, guys exactly like you. They clock in, they clock out, and they never have a moment of happiness. You have an opportunity here, Bob. This is a rebirth. Now, if not for you, do it for your children. <laughs>